In this galactic experiment, we're going to compare two images, one with flats and one without flats. We imaged M51 the Whirlpool Galaxy and last night and we're going to take flats right now. So that's what we're doing and we're gonna see what a difference it makes to put flats on images. Okay, so we now have all those files ready, just so you guys can see. Uh, we're going to compare a single shot. I mean, I guess it's good to know if it makes a difference in a single shot or not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll see it as well. So we're going to compare a single shot calibrated with, uh, with flats and a single shot not calibrated. So here uh, we have those. Let's see. So on the left is calibrated and on the right is not calibrated. So this is like when you go to the eye doctor and you're like, number one or number two? Number one or number two? Because truthfully, I can't tell from here. Well, right now we can't see because it's not stretched. Let's stretch right now. So on the right is, um, did I say cali No, not calibrated. So at first glance, we already have a nice clean uh, image so your your telescope and the camera did not have much dust on it already. Good. It's good, but for the video it's bad because we're trying to prove point here. I mean, <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to show you guys that uh, the effect on the flat frames, but sadly this image is already very clean. So, okay, so do you see anything uh, any difference here between the two? Any 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 difference? Well, there is like a black spot on the one on that side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah this is actually the only one i can find here this is the only dust spot we have apparently on the right so as you can see here on the right uh with no flats this dust uh, dot um, is still visible so it's uh, that was probably on the camera sensor window uh, i don't think it's on the scope glass i think it's on the camera window uh, but um if we zoom in, let's see if we can find anything else, any dust spot. So the camera was already very clean in the first in the first place because we cleaned it. Um, can you grab those two things so we can show them? So we cleaned the camera beforehand with this uh, super fiber cloth and um, this... It's a microfiber cloth. Microfiber cloth and this air pump, which is very important by the way, it's very useful. Um, so we use those to clean both the telescope um, glass and the uh, camera, the camera sensor, sensor window. So um, this is why we have almost no dust on the right here. But apparently there is only just one. Oh, maybe two. Look, wait. If we go down a bit. It seems like we also have some dust here. Here, see, a tiny one. I would not be able to find that easily. Yeah, it's a tiny one. But the point of this video is not just to show you that you know show you this is to show you that uh, the flats actually remove the dust spots so imagine if your telescope was not cleaned beforehand and you have a thousand of these dust spots well, um, you're just <laughs> in for so much trouble and if you don't have a keen eye like me take the flats anyway yeah because as you can see the flats remove them perfectly yeah because what a flat frame does what a flat master does is it uh, subtract the uh, dust spots from your master from the image so well from your from all your images yes so um, in this case we only have one major dust particle here despite that it's still probably best to go with the one with the flats well, anyway. yeah, for sure so so um, just to prove that you know flats are important and just picture this like times a thousand and you will see why it's important so flats should be taken either prior or after, after. Uh, image, your imaging session uh, without turning the camera, without um, right. without blowing Don't do or anything. spinning in the telescope. Just, just like flip it and then put back. Yeah, right away. So um, last thing, really quick, grab this. Uh, you probably already know from our previous videos, but we, we use this flat panel, which is pretty cheap on Amazon. So if you're an artist, you might even just be familiar with this because it's like a tracing pad, essentially. 
Uh, but you know, it doubles as a flats panel, so yeah. That's pretty cool. We, we use it a... quite frequently. We always have the same shirt, which is Antoine's shirt. Red. Same white. And uh, yeah, so uh, this was once again a quick experiment, which I think this was the fourth one. Uh, so... Yeah, little, little learning moments. So if you guys have any ideas on uh, uh, future experiments to make, we can uh, check as well. So yeah, well, um, final word is take flats. Always take flats. Just do it. If you're tired, just do it. You're They're gonna regret annoying. it. They're very annoying. You're gonna you regret to. it. Just do it. All right. We'll see you guys next time. And kill guys. Thanks, guys.